Alright, welcome back to another episode of me muddling about like an idiot trying to figure out what to do. Now we got the star ruby in the last episode. I found it in the cave with the vampire. Didn't seem to be anything else I can do in that dungeon though. So I kind of had to um, leave. <laughs> Plus the episode was getting on kind of long. So I had to end the episode... But I didn't feel like there was anything left to do in that dungeon anyhow. So, the way that a lot of these earlier games tended to work was that you would have to go to multiple different places and there wasn't a lot of guidance. Wasn't a lot of guidance telling you where you needed to go. And you would oftentimes have to jump between dungeons in order to proceed. So I found an item there, the Star Ruby, and I gotta go take it somewhere. Now, I thought maybe that I had to take it back to this town, but nobody here seems to know what the hell to do. <laughs> but, you know, I just opened up the map. I just escaped from this continent, so... I got this big area to the north, as well as this area down into the southeast to explore. So let's hop aboard my new ship, or my old ship, or whatever the fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. And explore! Uh, there might have been more that I'm not seeing. As in, there might be something out on this peninsula that I didn't explore. In fact, there is. I see that there's a cave. This isn't on my map, so I should try to find a way to get here. There's that cave, E2. I didn't... Yeah, hold on. Was Were those... Um... They're not on the mini-map. So, I haven't been there yet. I'm actually going to go back. And I'm going to... Head out on foot. Because, you know... Ah, damn it. That's got to be somewhere important. And I can definitely find my way to at least one of those caves on foot. The enemies in this area are a pain in the ass. Alright, so yeah, cave. Different cave. Giant's cave. Oh, there's a giant. Is he gonna fight me? Oh, okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, he ate it. So I guess I just walked into the wall. <laughs> so the Star Ruby was just to get me through this cave. What lesser tiger? <laughs> it was a common thing, especially in that era, though that honestly that has continued through in the modern day. Where you will find enemies that through the uh through the game, they reuse the same assets like character models or sprites or whatever. Just a different color and a different name, different stats. Alright, so up there is where I definitely need to go. But it looks like there might be a treasure chest down here, so I'm going to go check that out. See that we're looking at different enemies, same, with just pout swaps. Different colors for the same enemy. It also saved on memory, not just development effort. Ooh, a great axe. Gil, Gil, Mithril Helm. Great axe. Oh, accuracy goes down, though. Maybe I shouldn't. But I will. And up, oh, there we go. Just nothing but stack gains. Nothing but gains. 
Nothing but gains on that. Let's see it in action. Come on now. Damage! Everybody loves damage, right? <laughs> Hasn't missed yet. I guess maybe warriors have, or fighters, or whatever the hell this class is called, have high accuracy. Alright, so out here is there's another cave, and that's the other cave is where I have to go. This has got to be a proper dungeon, though. Sage's Cave. Oh, maybe not. The music is not dungeon-y. And I thought maybe there'd be something to do in there. <laughs> hey, Sage, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, I was. How the hell do people hear about that? Okay. Earth Rod. Alright, so that gravestone or whatever it was behind where we fought the vampire was... We had to fight our way to the vampire, kill the vampire, then we had to get the star ruby, then head here, then we head back over to the earth cave, and from there, <laughs> we can get back deeper into that dungeon. Much of it was a pain in the ass to get as deep into that dungeon as we were, we got better armor and weapons now, plus I didn't actually upgrade my gear before heading into the Earth Cave. So if I did that, I'm sure I would have an easier time through it. It was a pain because, I mean, the encounter rate is so high in this game. And it can be a real grind to get through anything. So I'm actually going to just bypass the cave we're supposed to go to. And I'm, I'm going to gear up here. I'm going to gear up properly. I got the axe so I'm not going to have to spend money on that and the Mithril Helm, so I won't have to spend money on that. Which is honestly why I didn't buy all my armor and weapons when I was in this town before. Because I knew I was going to find something, and I was going to be wasting money buying weapons and armor that I would eventually find anyway. So. <laughs> already got all of I got up magic already. But I was going to end up just wasting money buying weapons for something I was going to run into anyway. This seems... Oh, I can't use that. There we go. I'm probably not going to use that spell much. But let's go take a look at the weapons before I end the episode. See, look at this. They didn't even the, the axe isn't even here. Like, there's nothing here. Maybe I did upgrade my weapons. Hell, I don't know. <laughs> but the axe wasn't even there to buy. Armor. Where's the armor shop? Oh, it's above us, isn't it? Yeah, there's the armor shop. See, the Great Helm I got the upgrade for already. That's a lot of money. 36,000 gil. Hell, maybe I did it. Maybe I already did <laughs> buy the armor. Maybe I'm just remembering everything wrong. Well, obviously not, because the silver armlets are... I don't have any of those. Good, these two needed a boost defense. I guess, is that it? Oh, okay, I'm geared up completely. I don't have anything else left to get. Okay. 
Wasn't as big of an upgrade as I was expecting. I mean, everybody but Vivi got something, but... I'm geared up now. And I gotta head back to the Vampire's Cave, the Earth Cave. But I'll have to do that in the next episode. 